Hey everyone, welcome to Can't Afford to Record, the YouTube channel where we figure out the art of audio production together. Well, I did it. I bought the Kemper player. And despite all the reservations I had in the video that I made a few months ago, I can justify it, I think. But before I made that video, I made a video called Things I Wish I Knew Before Buying a Kemper. And at the time I had a power rack and I quite openly say if I had to do it all again, if I had to buy a Kemper again, I probably wouldn't buy a powered rack version of the unit. I have no cabinet to power and the rack unit just doesn't seem as transportable as the toaster or the stage or now the, the player. So a few weeks ago, I sold my Kemper rack and the remote to a very happy new owner and I was getting ready to buy a Kemper stage. But while doing so, I sort of started to entertain the idea of buying a Kemper player. Most of my Kemper usage comes from recording guitars and doing guitar lessons. And even when I do go out and gig, I mainly just use the same profile all night and perhaps we'll switch on a booster or a delay. And I know that the Kemper player can accommodate for all that. <laughs> But what I really think sold it for me was just how small it is, how it can sit on the corner of my desk and literally take up no space. So for the money that I got for my Kemper rack, I called up my local guitar store, put a deposit down on the Kemper player and went and picked this up a few days later. My initial reaction to the build quality and the overall aesthetic of the Kemper player is really positive. And I was a little skeptical because I watched a few videos where people weren't actually all that happy with the quality control, but I can report that mine seems absolutely perfect and it was really easy to hook up i was playing profiles and recording guitars in less than 10 minutes <laughs> few negatives or possible negatives that folks might run into. Here are some of mine. Since I used the Kemper for mainly recording, the lack of effects blocks in the Kemper player didn't really bother me all that much. However, I did want to put a little live rig together and I quickly realized I do actually use a few more effects than I thought I did. And I felt the restrictions pretty quickly um, with the Kemper player. All of that being said, it's more than likely if you're buying this to gig with, it's gonna be on your pedal board and you're gonna be using external effects anyway. So perhaps it's really actually not that big of a deal. I really, really hate there is no power button on this unit. When you're done using the Kemper, you have to take out the power adapter to turn it off. And uh, nah. The Kemper player comes with 50 rigs, all freshly loaded on, all color coded, so you can know what bank and sound you're using. The first thing I did was get rid of all of those rigs and I loaded on my favorite three profiles. Because there's no screen, if I'm gonna use this at a gig, I personally don't wanna rely on an app. So for me, the less to manage, the better. If I know exactly what profiles are on this unit and there's literally only a handful, I feel like that's just gonna take any complications out of the way. But also with that, I haven't synced this up to the app yet, nor have I gigged with it. So I really can't say much more. Here's the summary so far. I love the Kemper player for what I need of it. Amazing sounding profiles, ready to record, ready to practice, and it fits inside my guitar gig bag. I'm excited to see the journey of the Kemper player and what features and functionality is gonna be added over the years. Also something that I just can't not speculate on is that this thing is still called a profiler. This unit does not profile amps right now, but is that something that will come in time? Is that even possible with the inputs and outputs that it has? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Have you also purchased the Kemper player? What are your thoughts? Have you used it at gig scenarios? Hey, look, I wanna hear all about it. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. If you liked it, you're more than welcome to leave me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you like it more than that, then you're more than welcome to subscribe right here on Can't Afford to Record. And I'll see you soon.